Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshop by Julie. Today I'm working in this um, hinged page base of a journal. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you don't like sewing in a signature, this may be your thing. You know, I like doing it all. So for me, it's all my thing. So <laughs> now we get our things out of the way again. Okay. So this is. Um, I've got my five hinges in and I didn't actually have to, in the last video I thought, well, I was gonna have to trim one because it might've been a little bit too long, but it's not and it folds up fine, everything's great. So I hope you've got your base ready. If you don't, the first video is for that. I give you the measurements, six inches, two and three quarters inches for my spine, if you're gonna do it this way, then another six inches and then fold the rest of that up for an inside pocket, right? Okay. <clears throat> And I showed you how to make the, these are just super simple. It's eight inches long, one inch wide, folded in half. And then I took a little bit of an angle off down here because I'm going to be putting pockets on, big pockets. So, all right, now that we've got that on, now I've got some um, double stick tape on mine because, you know, that's how I roll. You don't have to use that. If you don't like it, just don't do it. Um... You can use, you can make this with just one or two. I mean, whatever you want to do. It's all up to you. So this is what I'm doing. And hopefully you'll get a few ideas or a little bit of inspiration out of what I'm doing. First, before, before we do anything else, I want to go ahead and put this on here. Because, uh, and I'm going to use, this is a little straighter there. And this is a little lopsided because, you know, the way it was cut before, not for this particular part. I didn't cut it that way. It's just the way it is. Okay, so <clears throat> I think I'm going to start with this end <laughs> just because, and I'm not sure a lot of this will actually show, but that's okay. It's, it's a fabric, and if it does show, it's pretty, and it matches up with, it matches up with the um, paper from the from the garden, uh, Stemperia garden pack. It matches up great. So, and it was in my stash. Use whatever you've got, okay? Because that's what I'm doing. I'm just using what I've got. Let me find my this. <laughs> okay, so I put double stick tape on here. You don't have to do that. You can use whatever adhesive you want to use, but. <clears throat> if you're using glue, okay, um, and only glue, I would put the glue on here and and smudge it down either with your finger tool, which is your finger, or, <clears throat> or whatever other tool you want to use to smudge it down with. Because if you don't do that, it will come through here and look wet, and it will never look unwet. It will always be that way. If you don't want that to happen, put your glue down and smudge it out. And then it won't give you grief. I don't like grief in my crafting. I like to just, you know, have fun in my crafting. So I'm just going to fold it back just a little bit on here. I like to use the double stick tape, but like I said, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Just, just use whatever you want to use. This this is something that works for me. That went up and under there. I saw it. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, just use what works for you. Um, and you don't have to use fabric on the spine. I'm gonna have not, nothing's gonna be sewn through here, because it's hinged, right? But. When you have things that are folding and it's paper, even if it's fall folder and heavy paper or whatever, it can crack, it can, um, well, you know, it can crack enough to where it will break. I guess we'll call it break. It'll, it'll fold enough times to where 
it'll cut itself off or whatever. There'll be a hole there. Okay. <laughs> there just will. All right. We're going to put our glue. I'm going to put my glue on here. And that gives me room to move things around if I need to. Right? Because sometimes you need to. Now on this, this glue, I'm just putting right on here. But the difference is this is... This has got the double stick tape on it, and the glue isn't going to go through to the fabric, okay? So, that's <clears throat> that's another reason I like to use the double stick tape, is that it won't, it won't let the glue get on through there. But, as I said, there's going to be a lot of things covering over this, so, eh, it may not show that much anyways. I just want to kind of... <clears throat> do this without getting my head in the camera. I'm trying to get it even on both sides. Yeah, like so. The, uh, I think the double stick tape gives it a little bit of oomph. I don't know. In my little mind, it does, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to fold it back like so. And now we can pull this off. Um, de -dum -de -dum. I'm not going to pull it quite all the way. I did it again. Um, sometimes, now look, if that happens to you and you have a little bit of something getting up and under there, just go in and kind of pick it out. It's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to pull it back to... <clears throat> Excuse me, my asthma. I'm calling it asthma now instead of COVID. Anyways, my asthma's acting up a little bit. It'll clear in a minute. <laughs> I hope. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead, add some glue. Um, it doesn't have to be super solid if you're gluing it this way with the double stick tape. If you are just using glue, <clears throat> um, make sure it is solid. Because if you just do like this, just go, ya la di da di da di da di da you know, you can, um, I don't know, I call them air pockets. You can get air pockets in what you're doing, and then you, you have part of it that's glued down and part of it that's got little not glued down parts. That's just not fun when that happens. Um, if you've got double stick tape, it's gonna catch the whole thing, right? Because it's solid coverage. Um, and, okay. So I, I'm just saying, just get you one of those, one minute, excuse my reach, like a, a silicone brush whatever you call this, get one of these kind of things or a paintbrush or whatever and just brush your glue on there really good and solid, okay? That way it's not giving you grief. As I said, we don't want grief in our crafting. We just want happy times. <laughs> yep, that's what we want. Happy times. Okay, so yeah, no la di dying with the glue when you're just using just glue. You can... You can lot it on double stick tape. Uh, <laughs> this gives you, um, well, it gives me an extra sense of security in that I know that the tape's going to hold. This is really good tape. Some people get those tape runners and they're complicated. Um, so they will let go. This is really good tape. It's the kind they use when they make signs for outside and stuff. So it's really strong. Um, and once it's down, you would have to tear your project apart and then some to get that off. So, just saying. That's, that's, uh, my spiel on that. Now, I'm just going a little bit at a time, because I'm almost to the end. <laughs> um, yep. Okay. I'm going to put this, now I'm going to put it on here. Yep. 
So yeah, just brush your glue on. It'll be fine. Um, get really good solid coverage on your project. And you won't have to worry about did it, you know, did it get to where it needs to be or whatever, right? Okay. I'm trying to get it just to the edge, and then I can just trim that off. If that makes sense. Excuse me. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, where's my... Okay. Now you do have to remember with um, when you've got double stick tape on there, give yourself a be be a little patient with it because that's gonna um, be sticky on your scissors, right? <laughs> um, so I recommend alcohol wipes to clean off the sticky or alcohol, or I mean you know you can use alcohol on the paper towel. Anyway, something like that will be fine. The reason I'm doing it like this is I'm trying to save that little bit of fabric in case I want it for somewhere else. It's not much, but, you know, it's a little bit. It's a teeny bit. So I'll cut that off later. Let me lay it over here where I'll remember. Okay, now, now we've got it all over our spine, right? Where's my brayer? I want to just give it a good roll. Yeah, like so. Okay, now the reason I wanted to do that before I did this next part is because this is going to have a lot of bulk to it once I do this next part. Okay, we're going to make some big pockets to go on here. I've got some made, <clears throat> and I'm going to make two with you on on this video and if you you know if you don't quite get I mean it's really easy come on guys it's really easy but if you don't get something I did or you didn't see something quite right or whatever just rewind me and play it back I'm just as like I said before I'm just as friendly the next time around um so it's fine um that's the good thing about a YouTube video you can watch it over and over and over and that's fine so these, let me see, i got to find my measurements, and I'll tell you what they are. They're just going to sit inside. And now if you've got a um, file folder that is big enough, I mean, they do make big ones. Mine weren't uh, big enough. If you've got a file folder that you can just fold one side over the other one, you know, then by all means do that. I made some little top hinge pieces to go on here because um, mine weren't quite tall enough to go where I wanted them to go, right? So that's, you know, I'm trying to keep this in shot, but I make no guarantees. It's it's kind of, you know, big, where did I put my, mm, lose myself. Um, it's kind of long until you get it together and then it's okay. Um, I'll find my measurements and then I'll tell you what this is. But just usually you're just going to make it to fit on your hinge. So whatever size your hinge is, which this is eight, I think it was eight inches long. Where are you going? Um, yep, yeah, eight inches long. So I'm just going to make sure that's flat and fold that over. Okay? And give it a roll so that you know for sure it's pressed down real good. Now, what this is going to do is just sit right on here um, as a pocket, right? And it will be a hinged-in page pocket, okay? That's what I'm working on. Now, let me see if I can find my measurements. I made notes all over everything. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Um, that's the mats. That's the spine. Ah, oh, the pockets. Okay. Five and three quarter inches wide. You want them just to be inside your uh, cover. If you're not doing it the same size I am, this is six. So you want it to be, you know, quarter inch, half inch inside your cover, right? Um, eight inches tall, which is, that's why the hinges are this, you know. 
and the top closure is four and three quarters by one inch and then score in half or fold it in half. So that's the way that got, keeping it simple, you know, where's the other one? Okay, we're gonna do this one and then we'll start putting these pockets on here. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not hard. And once you get the hang of it, you, you might wanna do a whole bunch of these. I do them every now and then, um, just because they're fun. Uh, and once you get the base built, then it's all about um, decorating it and making some interactive things to go on the front and the back of your pocket pages and making things to go in your pocket pages, right? I mean, you know, that's what we do. Okay, we're going to put this up to the fold, uh, but fold it over so you know you're not, you know. Yep. Okay. Yep, and then take this off. I am really trying to stay in shot, but you know, guys, it's not easy with these big pieces. Uh, once I get this together, then, you know, it's all, it's all good. Uh, yep, yeah, but if you have um, those big file folders where you can just fold it over, just do that. Just fold it over to where you have a uh, half inch you know, to fold it. Just make sure that's flat and then fold it over, right? And of course, I'm gonna give it a roll. Okay, so now we've got, we've got five pockets to put in. How fun is that? <laughs> it's not hard, really, it's, it's super easy. I'm gonna look for, and if you have this in yours, I'm gonna look for that and I'm gonna put it next to here if I can remember to do that, okay? So I'm gonna start with the back and move my way forward. Um, I use the double stick tape. Like I said, it's my thing, but you don't have to. You can just use glue. Just get you some good coverage um, so that you know for sure <laughs> you're not uh, leaving some openings in here because this is supposed to be your pocket, okay? So, and this will close up, well, half an inch of the inside here, but it'll close up and um, be a very secure location to put things. Okay. All right. I'm going to stick this on here like so. Like so, and give it a little press, a gentle press, okay? A gentle press. And then I'm going to lay it down like so and do that. Okay. All right. Now you might say, now how are you going to get that other one out of there? <laughs> Carefully. That's how. All right. So this will close up our other side um, because I put the tape up in there. That will be really good to help us make sure we get really good closure but I'm going to make sure I've got some glue as well because, you know, my security issues and all that. Especially on the edge of the thing because, you know, right there on the edge of the, the pocket is where it could, you know, try to open back up on you when it starts moving around. So you just want that to close down like so. <clears throat> Give it a roll. Yep. Okay. Now we've got one pocket page in. Voila! Okay. So let's do another one and then we'll move on to some other things. I just wanted to show you how to do it and I'll do the rest of that, you know, off camera. Uh, what did I do with them? <laughs> I'm, I'm losing myself, guys. Okay. <laughs> we're going to do, we're going to do one more and then I'll, I'll show you what I've got going on for um, for some inside, the inside pocket and for some matting because, you know, this is going to be so pretty. That garden pack from Stamperia is really pretty. Now it's got some Y pages in it. Why did they do that? You know, when they could have given you, you know, something else pretty. I don't, I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying. Anyways, <laughs> Some of them, 
just I'll move on already okay so I'm gonna put this down and um, yep you just work your way forward with this okay you just work your way forward oh wait a minute let me look and see if I got it yep it's on the right way um, I just want that ugly Amazon stamp <laughs> I want it to be um, why are you giving me grief okay well if it gives you grief just keep working with it you'll get it in there maybe it's good that it did that so that I can show you what to do just keep working with it till you get it in there <clears throat> Excuse me. Good thing I put glue on that, huh? Okay. That still doesn't feel like it's all the way on there. Okay, let me fix it. I'm going to take, I think it's the little bit of fabric that was holding off the edge here. I'm going to take a little bit more off there. Make it a little bit deeper angle. Yep, that's what I'm going to do with it. Okay. Yep, Oop, don't do it upside down. All right. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Okay, let's give it a little press then, and there, gosh, tries to get complicated on you every now and then. It's not complicated, believe me, it's not. It's just being, you know, <sighs> Murphy's Law or whatever. So, here we go. Let's do the other side. It's, it's not easy to do this and try to show what you're doing. When you're, usually you have your head over it and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's a thing. Okay. So, let's get some glue up in here. So we have, for sure, a good seal. And we move on, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Make sure we're up there. I want my pages to line up. You know what I mean? Okay, let's give it a good roll. Yep. And turn it this way and give it a roll. Okay. All right. Now, we've got that going. And we've got two pages in, okay. <laughs> I know, it's just, it would take way too long to show you doing that several times. I wanna show you this, because this part where you fold it up, I wanna try to keep the videos not too terribly long so people will keep watching. <laughs> I'm, you know, I know I'm weird, but yeah. So I made a couple of little hinges, just, and this is, whatever you have left over on your file folder i have this much left over okay so i'm going to use i just kind of drew around a piece of file folder to sort of match up with this edge because um i just thought that would be a thing to do <laughs> and um so i'm going to do it that way and that'll be my gusset for the inside okay and this one, I just one inch, fold it in half, and take a little angle off on each end so that when you put it in here, you're putting your outside of your fold right here, you're putting that to the outside, right? And then that gives you your gusset, okay? This is, uh, well, like I said, it's old school, but it's easy. 
and we're not going to have a whole bunch of rules we have to follow. If it messes up, we'll fix it. It's not that complicated, okay? We're going to lay this down and have it right on the edge, like so. Just scooch it over there and give the glue a minute to dry, okay? Same thing on this side. Now, I'm not going to put it down yet. I'm just showing you how to do your pocket when you get ready to do it. This is going to be matted, and I want the paper that I mat it with to go up at least part of this, you know, up and under this pocket. But we're going to do this, and then we'll do some more the next time. I'm trying to keep the videos not too terribly long and not too complicated where you won't think that you can't do it because... You can do this. This is super easy. So this will just follow. Am I in shot? So this will just follow along that line there and be right up there. Um, don't get it in your fold, of course, but here we go. Just press that down, and then you've got it. It's sort of a hidden gusset, you know. Um, so, yeah. Then you have it ready um, for the next part. We're going to take, um, after we get all of our pockets in, they will work. Even if you get a little bit of a complicated one, it's fine. It, they will all work. They will all just sit in there just fine. And um, I'll show you. That's probably the only one that was going to be complicated because, you know, it was being a little weird with me. No, there's another one. It might be complicated. It might not. We'll see. Sometimes it's just about holding them the right way and getting them in the right position. This one's got a little bit of... Let me take that off. That fabric can get in your way. But I like it to be there. So, yeah, there you go. Now it goes right on there. And then this one. Okay. There you go. All on there. They will be straight. <laughs> I, I will insist that they will be straight. Okay, so all those will be on there. And they will be, you know, awesome like that. This will be folded over and gusseted in. And we'll do a lot of matting. We've got a lot of stuff to work with with this paper pack. But I thought, let's see, we're getting close. We're getting close. I want to do one of the matting, one of them, you know. I want to do one, and then I'll do the others off. But I'm going to do this matting here, here, and it'll be like so, yeah. It'll be like so. This will be the front. And then we'll put the other one on. Now you see, not a lot of that's going to show, but that's okay. It's still pretty peeking out, right? Okay, let's get this one on there. And then I'll have to, I'll have to just let you go because the video is going to get too long. <laughs> this is such a fun project. You just don't want to stop. Or I don't. <laughs> I just want to keep going and going and going like the ever ready bunny or whatever. I just, you know, you get into it and your mind just starts thinking, oh, I can do this and I can do that and I can do this other thing. And I, you just want to do it, you know. But I don't want to get too long on my videos to where people start tuning me out and saying, oh, you're a crazy person. I'm not going to watch you for two hours long, you know. I'm just just saying okay so we're just gonna mat this on like we mat things on right get us an even border around okay <clears throat> and then we're gonna get this one off I'm trying to hurry now so that you know I'm trying <laughs> okay now if you notice I didn't round the corners you can if you want to on this I just didn't I didn't feel the rounding of the corners. I usually do, but not on this one. Um, and I may go in at the end and just round, you know, the, the base corners. I don't know. I, 
don't know. So where's my brayer? Give it a good roll down so it's got its stuff down there really good. Clear my clutter. Okay, this is directional, so I'm going to put it like so. Yep. And look, I'm going to finish up. I'll do the spine and I'll do the back off camera so that when I come back, we'll be ready to start matting the inside and putting some interactive things on our pocket pages. Okay. That's my plan anyways. I think it's going to be fun. No, I know it's going to be fun. <laughs> this is just, you know, this is what we do to, to have fun, to do something with our creativity because it's bursting to get out of us, right? Or mine is. We've got to be creative. It's a thing. Okay. I am trying to hurry, guys. I hope you're not tuning out yet. Just stick with me. <laughs> stick with me. Hang in there. If you have any questions about anything that I've done, please just ask. I have... Um, I will get back to you. If you ask in the comments below, I will definitely get back to you. I answer my comments and I try to answer them as fast as possible. Sometimes, now isn't that going to be pretty? Guys, look at that. And we've got this one over here we're going to put on the spine. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Just pretty and awesome. And... I'm going to get all this stuff done. That's my homework. Your homework is to do yours. Get yours caught up. If you're only doing two or if you're only doing one, then yours is going to be smaller and stuff. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be fun. And once you do it once, you'll say, oh, what was I worried about? Because this is awesome, right? <laughs> okay. So we've got that done. We've got our gussets ready on our pocket. And... Let's see, we've got, now on your mats, just whatever size you're doing, give yourself a good quarter inch. Yeah, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. So make it a quarter inch less than where you're going to mat, a quarter inch less than the first mat. Pretty simple, okay? Um, on your pockets, if yours is not the same size as mine, just make them to fit onto your hinges. Um, and if you have the big file folders, you know, it's easier just to fold the top. But if not, then just go ahead and make you a, a half inch fold for each side. One inch, fold it in half. Okay? This is going to be so awesome, guys. So, so awesome. Already coming together. And we're already over 30 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys take care. Please like and subscribe. Pretty please. <laughs> Thanks for watching. TTFN.